Hey everybody, how are you? This is Peter again for MLB Discussions. Hopefully you guys have been watching the last few videos that I've been making. I made about four or five so far and I'm going to continue to make one at least every day as much as I can, maybe two. I've been talking about the Arizona Diamondbacks and Mike Hazen. Mike Hazen has changed baseball and if you guys have been watching what I've been talking about, he has put a competitive team with rebuilding the farm system every time. He has changed the way baseball is without having to start from the beginning. He is getting better and starting over on some positions and still getting better at the same time with building a farm system. And I think that's all you can ask for as a fan, right? You want your team to get better if you know you're not going to win that year, but at least get a competitive team and hope for the best and then slowly get there as opposed to wipe out the whole team and start again. So what I've been mentioning in my last few videos is dream outfielders for me, whether it was... The first one I mentioned was Mookie Betts, right? Just for the fact that I, if the Diamondbacks wanted, I think they can get him. It would be the perfect fit. It would be a dream outfielder for them, and he would be a franchise guy. I know he would be making over $30 million soon after this year as a free agent. They're probably not going to do that. That was just a dream trade of mine. The more realistic one that I was talking about was Starling Marte. He definitely can go. He is only making $11 million this year. He's only going to make $12 million or $13 million the year after that. And then, you know, that's two years of a affordable guy who's going to probably bat you 300. Stay, if he does stay healthy, get you 30 stolen bases and 30-something home runs, which is phenomenal, right? My other video I was talking about, if they are going to spend the money, who the guy I really would like was Castellanos over Ozuna because I think Castellanos would kill in Arizona. I think he would be kind of like a J.D. Martinez. Better average, not as many home runs, but still 33, 34 home runs with a 320 to 330 average. And that is phenomenal, right? That's what I thought. I think he's affordable. I think he's 15 to $16 million a year. If it's going to be 18, I still think we can do it. But Mike Hazen came out yesterday and said $14 million was a little high when they thought that's how much he had left to spend. Now, this is without trading Robbie Ray. I don't know if he's just doing that to just like fool everybody or if it is true, then that kind of stinks for us because... Then we got to start looking at whether we make the trade for Robbie Ray to get $10 million or whether we do get Starling Marte and then just get a nice bullpen piece after that. And then the other move I was going to talk about now is probably, and you know what, it's gonna, it would make sense and he's the only guy left out there and he would do a fantastic job as Kevin Pillar, right? We need a righty center fielder if we're going to do that or we need some type of righty power hitter or... Like somebody mentioned another day in a in a comment with Starling Castro, that's not look, that's not what I'm looking for. I think Kevin Pillar in Arizona would do well. I think he would be cheap. I think he will bat 275 to 290 just for the fact that he's played in San Francisco. It's a big ballpark. He hit like 260 with 21 home runs. If you look at the numbers, how he did against Arizona last year, he was batting I believe 320 with five or six home runs. Every time he went into Arizona, he killed. So he would cover the heck out of that ballpark because he's still a phenomenal center fielder. He will make gold glove plays almost like he did, like Steve Finley did back in the day. So it would be a great fit. It would be. And I'm not. we don't need a crazy, crazy power hitter, but I think we do, but we don't necessarily need it, right? I think it would be perfect for us because then everybody will be better on the team. But if you still want to go with a 20 to 25 home run guy in Arizona that'll bat you 280, that's fine because if you need to save money. So let's go into the list of who would be the best and the more realistic list also. Obviously, Mookie would be the best, correct? But I don't think that's going to happen. So the best guy that would I think would happen would be Starling Marte. That's the more realistic one when it comes to the trade scenario situation. If we're going to do free agency. The best free agent one would be, again, for me, Castellanos. And then I think Calhoun could play center field a little bit. I think it's a risk. I don't know if he's going to be able to cover it. But for that bat with Castellanos, I would love to get him there. It's just looking more and more likely that that's not happening because they still need a center fielder. I don't think, unless they put La Castro and start switching around, I don't think that's going to happen. So, again, we'll say... If we needed a trade, the best option, obviously, is Mookie, but it's not going to happen. So, starting Marte would fit the most. And then if we're going to do a free agent, the best option would be, for me, it was Castellanos. But that's not going to happen. So, if we're looking at the price range, it's going to be Kevin Pillar. So, what do you do? What's the next move? Do you make a trade? 
or do you sit there and you sign Kevin Pillar and still go get yourself a bullpen piece? That's the question. Uh, as a fan, I would like to see Starling Marte at least go there if we're looking at what we can afford. If it's true that he's insane, he only has around 12 to $13 million to spend, I would like to see Marte go, but Pilar would probably be worth like a little bit around 8 or 9 and that'll still give us about 4 to $5 million to spend on a free agent. And, you know, Hazen is more strategic that way. And I'm not one to complain because every move he made is most of it has been gold. So that being said, you guys tell me what you think. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and Happy New Year. Bye.